给。another day with the Norps and today we are going to be doing a renovation project so that's exciting we took a little, we took a little break actually we had to like live life yeah turned but out. it's okay that's how it's gonna be from here on out we're gonna be doing a project at a time and today we we're think. doing a project Maybe. that is just been killing me that we haven't done it yet because it's so simple and it's our the only hallway in our house this one yep um, this is just we have like the living area okay a bedroom, a hallway, a bathroom and bedroom. So like this is, it's kind of fun though, because then you can kind of do whatever you want. There's almost nothing done in the hallway. I put on, if you guys remember back in the day, I painted a mural in here, which was really fun because it was like, there are no rules, I can do whatever I want. And I guess that's always true. Yeah, but, come on, no rules. Um, and it was, so that was fun, but I painted over it so that I could put wallpaper over it. Mm -hmm. But we still haven't finished the trim. We still haven't finished the floors. Mm. We haven't trimmed out the attic door. We have finished the closet, so that's done. That's This complete. is the original paint color in the closet, like a light pink. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Mauve? They even put up like trim in there. It's, it's actually yeah. a cute color. This is very similar to our bedroom color. There's actually crown, little crown molding in the closet. In the closet. They were very um, thorough. thorough. But it needs a doorway. It well, needs... it has a doorway. Needs I mean, door. It needs a door, it needs shelving, it needs to be painted. Um, and then I want to pick a paint color for the doors because those are still in their just prime state. Mm. Fill all the holes, paint the trim, put up the wallpaper, do the floors, and that will be a fun project. First things, oh, there's a couple things that need to happen. Um, I need to choose a paint color to, I want to do something fun because you can see it from the front room and it's a small space, so you might as well go all the way. I'm definitely very inspired by Ariel Bissett. I don't know if you guys are watching her channel. Yeah. She has a house in Canada. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. She's the cutest thing ever. And she did this like amazing closet where she did like wallpaper, an incredible wallpaper, and she painted the door and the trim like a really bright, like poppy red, mm. which I could do because there is some of that in here. I could do that. It's not a terrible idea. Um, not totally I, terrible, but kind um, of terrible. I would do like the green, except I think I'm gonna do a lot of green out there. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking of doing is matching this sofa color. Let's see, the blue one or the yellow the one? The blue one. Okay. Cause it's also in here and doing kind of a darker blue. I don't know though, that's kind of scary for me. I need to think about that. The wallpaper is probably the last thing I'm going to do, even though it's the first thing I want to do. But my, also our intake vent yeah. size changed. And so Mike is going to repair the drywall right here. Well, I'm going to put a piece there and then I Let's guess, do a patch. I guess we're going to do, um, <clears throat> the wallpaper is going to go over it, but yeah, so right. it doesn't need to be like amazing, just a patch. Right. But I do need to choose a paint color. I'm so scared about that. It's hard. Because. Hmm. Do you need to think about this off camera a little bit more? No, I want you guys to stay with me <laughs> while I think about this. One of the things is the only bedroom you see from the front room is this one. We're not going to look at it now because I'm sure it's messy in there. Well, it's messy-ish, but it's blue. And so do I want to do blue trim and blue door into the blue room? Maybe. I mean, I'll, maybe. That's kind of fun. I could do obviously yellow. That would be fun and bright. Mm -hmm. What do you think, babe? I know I, you have a lot I, of thoughts. I You're don't. Like, she hasn't asked me yet. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't really. Color doesn't really. I don't really get involved in that usually. Yeah. So I don't care. Honestly, I don't. I don't know. Wish this were live. You guys could tell me. We should always just do live videos all the time. Yes, maybe I should get some friends. And everyone, <laughs> there's that option too, I guess. But then they'd have to be here and that's hard. Okay, I'm going to Look. tack wow. this up, walk away and think about it. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint the trim like a 
blue, like a darker, maybe a little bit less saturated. This is a very purpley blue, maybe a little bit less saturated version of that blue and maybe a little bit darker. Um, it'd be really nice if we had crown too, but maybe someday. And then I'm going to do the doors one of two colors, either a salmony pink, like in those flowers, or that ye golden yellow color. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to go maybe get some paint swatches and we also need to get the stain for the floor and yeah, and stuff for dinner. Some friends just stopped by to drop somebody off and I asked the mom and daughter duo, thank you, Tina and Ava, what they thought and they both said quickly to do the doors this golden color, which is good. I haven't used this yellow yet. I've used pink in the house, I've used green and I've used blue. So let's maybe, it's time to pull out this golden color. So we'll do a dark blue trim, this color on the doors, which is very classic. And it also reminds me of um, Alexandra Tolstoy's house. If you guys watched House and Garden from the UK on YouTube, that channel's amazing. And her place is amazing. And it's awesome because it's just a flat and it's not huge. So you don't feel like, well, ugh. and she's got all these beautiful little things in her beautiful little flat. I'll put a link down to it below. But anyways, she has a lot of those colors together there. So that will be pretty. Okay, I came in and I chose the colors almost immediately. So I didn't show it. I am getting it in the Magnolia, um, like cabinet paint because I really like that paint. It hardens really hard. It's not a latex. And now we're going to look at trim for the top crown or I don't know what else. Let's just see what we can find. I think with the wallpaper and the color, it would be really nice to have that up there. Here's the door color. Can't believe I made the decision that quickly. Hope I don't regret that. And here's the trim color. And together they make our hallway. Banquet. Yes, Cub you're right. Scouts. It does look like Cub Scouts. Oh no, I'll never be able to unsee it. <laughs> Those are exactly Cub Scout colors. I knew it looked familiar to me. It's a little later. We had dinner. It was delicious. We had like taco bowls. Oh, so good. It was good. Um, Jude's cleaning out the litter box back there. Don't mind him. Time. I am nervous about these paint colors because I made my decision so quickly. You did. So. <laughs> <laughs> that looks very blue. Look at that versus that. Let's hope it dries That's darker. That's smurfy. Okay, um, that Some is very... Whoa. Right. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. Um, holy... Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> that is very blue. Okay, it does not look that color on the sample. So I am going to hope that it gets darker <laughs> as it dries. Which actually, it usually goes the opposite way, doesn't it? Things get lighter as they dry, usually. Um, I don't know. No, I don't think so. That's what I think. Because it's like shiny right now, so it's reflecting a lot of light. I don't know. I'm getting a little bit thick because it will also look lighter with, but it's not really working. Oh my gosh. That is like Superman blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's more bright than my bedroom. That so we're gonna have like a, Kind of a, a superhero theme in the hallway here. Guys, that is not at all the color I chose. Did he give me the cards back? I think they're in that bag. Hold on a second. This is the color. Supposedly. Those look like two different colors. That doesn't look at all the same. But let's see, what does it say on the little label on the... Does it say on the lid or whatever? The label, lid no, label? No, this is what I handed him and it says... Dress? blues um okay that's very strange it must dry darker yeah it okay. better and this was the color for oh my <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what yes color this is what colors are all about <laughs> Megan. oh my god it's about making mistakes no that's that is a, not the color that's I life you know what joanna Gaines lied to us she lied to us about what color it was it, well, so it's, it's Joanna Gaines' brand of paint. It's, it's not her color. No, but she lied to us. Blame her. Yes, you lied to us. Joanna Gaines. No, I can't even say that. I can't even joke. <laughs> it's okay. She's, uh, she's oh just a person. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look at this again. Let's see if the people at home think it's the same color. It looks pretty different to me. Very different to me. 
very, very different. Well, let's open this yellow, shall okay. we? Okay, now we're gonna find out how the yellow is. Let's see. Well, it was, ex see that's that? That looks right, that matches. Oh. Yeah. Don't paint on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. You know, I was already nervous, agreement. and now I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. These are terrible colors. <sighs> so what do you think, does it match? No, it looks terrible. Just, just awful. You like, just said it looks terrible? Yes. It okay, looks... well, I'm sure it's just, it'll dry better. I'm well, sure. we'll see, because if not, I'll have to take it back and say, hey. You got to complain to these people. No, I'm just going to say. Could... So in this case, Lowe's actually lied to us then. No, Is that what you're saying? I'm just wondering if. I want to know who lied to us. If it's a different brand, since it's a different brand of paint, the color is a Sherwin-Williams color using a Magnolia paint, if that makes a difference. Um, this is awful. No, I think it matches perfectly. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. We should close that door so we don't see our children's super messy room. And can we move those toilet paper rolls out of the way too? Because that's that's bringing me down right Hi. now. We need a door. <laughs> Either way, if it dries darker, the, I don't know if I can let go of the blue and gold banquet. Did I? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have ever said that. Any of you who know uh, Cub Scouts knows once a year you do blue and gold banquet to kind of, I think, earn money or and raise these are money. are like the exact... Exactly. We colors. used to be in Cub Scouts with the boys, and uh... <laughs> I don't know if I'll we'll ever be able to unsee Blue it. and gold. <laughs> like, for the rest of the time, people are like, this is See, pretty, I'm like, blue and gold banquet. What it means is you I actually know. still want to be a den mom. Mm -hmm. You miss I it so much. I mom. But I wonder if, um, I'll, maybe I'll just do the whole thing gold. I'm still new. Mm. Let me wash out my brush. Okay, we're learning. I'm already pretty much over the idea of two-toned. Why? Because it looks ridiculous. So stop Hello. it! Why? Um, that's pretty. Now that looks what you, what you'd expect. Mm -hmm. Like what you'd expect. Um. I so, like color. huh? I like that color. Jude likes it. Mm -hmm. Okay, as long as you approve, we're in good shape. I've lost all confidence in my ability completely. What ability and what to choose? You're like what ability? <laughs> I'm not sure. Wait, what, what are ability. we talking about? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you had an ability. Um, that's not a color I ever thought I would choose. Um, Which one? The blue? The gold. Oh. Looks very just straight up orange. It looks less orange on this yeah. on the camera here, um, but we might need to wait for it to to dry and then tomorrow we'll look at it. Definitely not doing the blue. Like no, 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 no. We'll save the blue yeah. for some other occasion. Question is, oh, Jude's trying to bring his art project out. He's Jude's. trying to paint by numbers. Look at that. I'm painting a lion. Wow. Question is if I do want to do a two tone and do this color trim and do like the pink, this light pink right here on the door. Yeah, that's what you'd said before, right? You thought about doing a uh, like a salmon or something yeah, of that like nature. Yeah, like light pink maybe. I just didn't know if like I didn't know if that was. I mean, I kind of. If you guys want to know, I want my house to look kind of like a dollhouse. Um, a real little uh, a house actually the size for dolls. Yeah, in true. real life too. Kind of I'm gonna let that sit overnight, and I'm gonna come out in the morning and go. Like no, this. you're gonna go. That was a waste of thirty bucks. <laughs> and we'll see how I feel. I mean, obviously, it's the right color. It's like the exact color is that. Now I'm wondering if I should have done that color on those. This color right here. Yeah, those yellow. Here, but let me show you. It's actually really great with the curtains too. It does work really well with these. These are gonna be the, my mom's making them right now. So Megan's mom is making <laughs> curtains out of this material. And she's which amazing. Is, which is awesome. And, and you can see. So nice. Oh, you're gonna get paint on it, oh my God. Like right there. You're right, those do match. And it looks really nice with the background color. Uh-huh. Let's say hi to the kitty. It's just too dark for such a light wallpaper. Mmm, okay. If, if I had, if okay, okay, listen. Here's the thing, dilemma. I think if you've written this wallpaper up, you see it? Or is it just on me? I see this it. Wallpaper, the color to do the trim is green. Because that's kind of the base, like right. tying together mm -hmm. color. But I might have green right here. In the kitchen. In the kitchen, or maybe that's okay. Can I just paint this? <laughs> well, let's do this. Let's do this in the cabinets in the kitchen, this color. Yes. So and right um, in the kitchen. Yeah, and we'll do red with it. It'll be great. I wanted to do green trim in this house. But then I thought like, oh, if I sell my kitchen cabinets, I can't have green trim throughout, but maybe I can. Maybe. It's the next morning and 
I've thought a lot about this and come to zero conclusions. I have no idea still if I'm going to keep this yellow um, or what I'm going to do, but I need to now move on to the floors. I'm going to lightly sand them. I've already been sanded back when we were redoing the floors, but we wanted, we knew that these were kind of part of the living room floors. And so we were waiting on that, but I'm going to lightly sand them, clean them really well, and then stain them today. Also, my mom's going to bring over our curtains that she made for us, which is seriously so nice. It was so much work because they're huge. Um, and she's really good at what she does, but I'm really grateful she did that. So first things first though, sanding. My mom finished the curtains, yay! And since they're made of linen, we needed to turn my table into ironing board to iron them and then get them up immediately so they wouldn't be too wrinkled. These are so beautiful. Where you do this so that they will set into this so that when you open and close them, they're not just like a big mess. So we'll leave them for 24 hours or so, mom? Yeah. Mom has made curtains for many, many, many people over the years. <laughs> She's incredibly talented and yeah. it's a huge blessing. I never could have had drapes like this, never. The fabric, if you guys remember, is this incredibly expensive French linen. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, it was $400 a yard, but I got the whole bolt for $15. So there I got my dream fabric and then I have a dream mom who came and sewed these enormous, as you guys saw, we had to turn the table into the ironing board because these panels here were twice the size of the table. And so our little, my little ironing board, these were hard enough, but the ginormous window, oh man. <laughs> Mom, how old are you? 78. 78 years old. And she's been spent, she spent her entire week working on my curtains. So they're beautiful. I can't wait to have them. Um, it would, would have been better if I had finished the windows and the walls before, but I need drapes because we're walking by here at night after showers and things, so. So, but thinking about it for about 15 hours now, 18 hours, and this gold just doesn't make my heart sing. It's troubling me too much. So I remembered that I'd already bought a green that makes my heart sing always. It's the color I'm gonna do the kitchen cabinets and I decided, well, maybe it's nice to have bookends of the green here and the green over there. So let's see, I'm gonna put some up before I keep working on the floor and just let it sit there so that I can feel better because this has been stressing me out, yo. I don't know why I get like blinded by stress when I start choosing colors. Asher's yeah, sure practicing his violin. <clears throat> yeah, that's the color. That's more better. Um, I don't know if I'll do the door as well. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna work. That's it. Now I gotta finish sanding and then stain the floor. I've got the plan, the floor sanded, swept, cleaned, ready to go. I've mixed my two stains together. I'm doing half special walnut and half Jacobian or Jacobian. And um, now I'm gonna stain, I've got my rags. I'm gonna probably do half and half. Um, so you just put it on and then wipe it off. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that was very fast. I did the exact same blend as the other floors. I'm hoping that that is just what happens because <laughs> it doesn't look the same color. But um, I'm hoping that as it dries, it, it lightens. I think it does. But boy, these floors are so pretty. They're like um, a white oak. And man, like stuff like that, I think is so pretty. I went and looked at the videos of when we were redoing the other floors and they looked just as dark. So that made me feel better. But now I'm going to be, I'm gonna paint this trim and I'm gonna to have to decide on the doors if I'm gonna paint them green or not. I haven't decided yet. 
So I'll just start with painting the door jams. We don't have all of the trim in on the floor or any of it. That's an old piece. We're getting new trim and then we're gonna be putting in crown. While I wait for the floors to dry, I'm just gonna put a tarp over them and get those door jams painted and make decisions about painting the doors. It, back in the day when I did the other floors, you guys may have noticed I did not seal them because I really didn't want to do poly. And I know there's a lot of options out there. And so I kind of just delayed making the decision and I did not seal the floors. They, I stained them, but I left them raw. After thinking about it for several months now, um, I've decided I'm going to wax my floors. I don't like poly. I've never enjoyed working with it in all of the furniture restoration I've done. I don't like that when I, like when the floor needs to be repaired, I have to sand all the poly down and do it again. You can't just like fill in a spot, or at least I don't think you can do that well. And so I don't mind once a year or on as needed basis, adding more wax to the floors. And the thing is I can layer the wax. If it's just like a high traffic area, I can wax it more often, but if it's under a bed or under furniture, I don't have to worry about it. It's natural. It's what we've been using for a long time. And really all of the floors that I love that have so much character had no seal on them and have just been able to, you know, age themselves. Probably some of you won't be fans and will have reasons I shouldn't do it, but there's reasons to not do everything. And that's what I'm gonna do for now. And the great thing about wax is I can later on change my mind and do a different seal on it. You have to wait four hours before you can do anything. So I'm just gonna, like I said, gonna paint the door jams green. Mike is now doing the floor trim. I'm happy with the green, definitely glad. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint the doors as well, but I wanna wait on that. I like to do the first coat because it's gonna need a second coat anyways. And then I can see all of the spots that need filler. I mean, obviously the green and the yellow look really cute together, but I've been thinking about what I'm gonna do with the yellow. I might use it in the bathroom for some fun stuff in there. I thought about doing a board and batten wall right here with pictures on top of it inside the bathroom and get a cute gingham shower curtain. I think if I did the doors yellow, that would be cute, but maybe a little too much for me. So I'm gonna do them green. Once we get all the painting done, I can put up the wallpaper. Well, it's um, the next day and um, I am, using clear paste wax from tree wax mm. to wax our floors mm. and since it's such a small space i'm just doing it by hand mm. it's really simple it's a floor wax i've used it on a lot of furniture covers 800 square feet this thing but yeah. if i you know when we're doing that part of the floor in the bedrooms i will use a machine but you're just oh really what machine i didn't know this some sort of buffing machine. That'll be fun. You don't want to do like 700 square feet of, of floors with a little two inch Well, you know, some of us bunch. like to work with our hands. So like in a way I do, but it would destroy my body. But like- You have to excuse Peter. He's practicing guitar. He's practicing guitar right now. You can see where the floors are beat up when you're up here close, but- Luckily we don't ever get that close. It just, what I, you can let it dry and then come back and really buff it if you want it to be shiny, but I don't oh. necessarily want it to. And the nice thing about it, like I said, is I could come back and just do some... You can spot. Mm -hmm, do like it. high traffic areas, you just add some more wax in next year. Once we get this done, what are you doing, Mike? I'm working on the shelves. So, this closet needs to be done. We have shelves that were in there before. I pulled them out during the construction process. Megan painted in there. We got the door, obviously. So I'm gonna get the shelves, put some edge banding on them so that they look a little bit better than they used to and we're gonna sand them and I think Megan's gonna paint the shelves. Yeah. And, and then I'll, anyways. And then you'll put in the trim while I'm painting. Yeah, I've got the, I have most of the baseboards cut. I just didn't actually attach them yet. Um, Cause I've also, the door has to go in with the trim around it before I can do those baseboards. Cause anyways, so that's what I'm working on.
we got our shelves in. Now Megan decided it would be better to paint inside here. I didn't have the willpower before. Mm -hmm. But well, when you put the shelves in and it looks so nice and you like see it up there and you're like, all right. Yeah. But I don't think I actually can finish it because I'm not tall enough. Megan thinks I need to paint, but painting is kind of your department, I not know, mine. I know, because I can't do so many of the things you do. I'm, I'm not I good at painting. Paint. Um, by the way, talked to Esther earlier today. She's already past her halfway point. She's living in Pasadena, California. She's being well fed. And she is doing great, so. That's good. Um, it was great to talk to her. I get to talk to her one day a week. I get to talk to Andrew tomorrow as well. It's kind of nice to on separate days. You know, it is to, nice because you don't have that. to be like, who is getting more of me? <laughs> you know, like, who, are you going to hang up with someone to talk to the other person? I know. So I don't have to choose between my children. I don't have favorites. Are we doing the ceiling? Nope. Just to the top of the trim. So I am going to paint the door screen, I decided. So that would be so cute. Wallpaper, trim trim or crown and trim. What is that called again? Base boards. Okay, Mike is taking the trim that I painted last night and installing it. I am definitely a fan of painting trim before you put it in because it's so hard to get a straight line, but well, not anymore. is yeah this is a little too long I need to trim it just a little bit but the other question is whether or not this looks right as far as like the orientation of it what do you mean we still think that the top is the top like what yes I do okay I do I, I do okay it's fine <laughs> The next day I just went and painted the ceiling where the um, because it seemed like the um, caulking Mike put in was a different color but I just painted over it and it still kind of looks like a different color so it might just be the texture change of the caulking to the I don't know I'm not gonna worry about it though and I'm not gonna worry about this this needs a little bit more help to make it look finished um, I am so anxious to put up the wallpaper but today I need to, before I do that, I need to go and do some paint touch-ups on the green. There's just a few spots that I noticed, so I'm gonna go around and do those, and then I get to put up the wallpaper, then I get to pull up the floor stuff. So, we're so close, you guys, so, so close. So, I've been so anxious to put up the wallpaper, and it's now time, and I'm a little nervous. Um, the paper has like two, let me just show you. It has like two patterns going on, or like, you know, there's two lines of, and I want this to be in the middle. I don't want this to be in the middle in between them. And so I've marked my middle point here with a little yellow pencil and up there. And now I'm gonna try and put our first strip up. And I, well, I need to gather some tools for that. But in the past, I have not had a huge problem with putting up 
wall, uh, the peel and stick wallpaper. Um, I don't know if I've ever done anything this big though. So it's not really that big, but there's lots of doors to, and lots of things to work around. It's not just a big blank wall. So, you know, that'll probably be fun. So this is what I'm talking about. There's these two vertical like vining designs on here. I want this one to be in the middle. I like, well, actually look, it's the same one. Okay, well, I want one of them to be in the middle instead of the middle being in between the two vines. Also, I've cut a strip off of here and it's not straight and there's like a little holes in it. And the main thing is you wanna, if I know that this is straight on the top, then I can line it up with confidence and know that as I roll it down, it's gonna be fairly straight. I mean, not perfectly, because your walls aren't perfectly straight, but a lot more than, can you see how unstraight that is? So I'm going to draw that line on there so that I can cut it, get started. I'll tell you what, if the only wallpaper you've ever hung of this peel and stick is cheap, and it's more like a contact paper thickness, it makes a difference. Also, cheaper papers, their patterns don't line up as perfectly. Just, they, they don't aren't as, aren't as forgiving. So, I mean, this isn't like a really expensive one, but it's not like some cheap, cheap one either. So, just FYI, if you've done it and you're, you're like, oh, so hard, I was so frustrated, that in part might be why. could not find a piece that fit. So I, it was like every piece I looked through. So it's time to clean up and be done. days because I realized I didn't have enough wallpaper of course um, and I, <laughs> I so I had to get I think a total of four rolls for this hallway and I definitely have a lot left over but this hallway has five doors and you know one two three four corners and just so much to negotiate that I think it definitely used it wasted a lot right because oh, I had yeah. to go around all the doors and I had to do a lot of negotiating with that wallpaper to be like okay 
that's not going to work. So lots of patching, <laughs> but thankfully it's a busy pattern, so you can't see it. Um, and it's a high quality paper from Rifle Paper Co. And so very happy with it. I love that it's just this happy thing. Here, I'll show you. So I love these curtains for my mom, and I totally feel like these look like so similar at first. And they really play off each other. And they're exact same color families. But then I've got this, and I've got this fun, happy hallway just calling you back there. And I love it. And I can't wait to get the art up once I unbox all of our art and do some fun thing here and around the corner. But isn't that cute and happy? Can't wait. So thanks for coming along, guys. It was definitely, I mean, I thought... <laughs> I'm like, it's a hallway. I'll get it done in a day. Oh my gosh. It took How us a week. a week. A week. Yeah, about a week. But obviously not doing it around the clock and having to wait for the wallpaper and getting the curtains and all of that. But I love it. It's what I've dreamed of for like months and months and months. And it's done. So happy I did the green. I don't actually know why. I think I wasn't sure if I was going to do the bookshelves right here next to the hallway mm -hmm. green and then yeah. do the kitchen cabinet screen. But I am going to do this kit, the kitchen cabinets to screen. It's like great to have it up. I love it. Pearl now wants to do, redo her walls with this green, but I'm super happy with the green. Love it. Can't wait to see it in the kitchen too. So thanks for watching. Um, and remember, we have our new little YouTube channel where we're talking about essential oils with doTERRA. Um, it's actually been really fun. We've done a lot of live videos over there and we just kind of hang out, talk, interact with you guys as you make comments during the, the live videos. It's been really fun. I feel like so. I have friends. <laughs> so <laughs> it actually has been pretty fun. So there's a link below to, to go to the YouTube channel and uh, it's called Planted with the Norp. So you can subscribe to it there and then, then hang out with us over there. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time with another project. Bye. Bye.